All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a f bro. They held me down. They made me watch the little kids get. I don't give a f anymore. Where? Bro, they took me to the woods, bro, and they tied. I'm not joking, bro. I have proof, bro. I don't give a. F bro, I will show you every video you could ever believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They tied me down and they made me watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a f anymore. Yes, I lost it. They're little kids. Who? Bro, you, do know you, you, know, you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You, you know the path you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't, give, I don't give a f They can't touch me. I'm a god. That's the first point of contention, because I care about you a lot, and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you. Bro, no, they can't, bro. All right, so come touch me. You have proof of these things? On, you have proof of this on your phone? Yes, of course I do. The f what are you talking about? Of course. If Alex could get a video from the Bohemian Grove, of course I could. I have to be careful what I say because I'm in the middle of a judicial process right now. You want me to get my, you out of it? I can help well, bro, my door gets kicked in if I say what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, I can help you get out of it if you want. I know people. All right, so is everybody familiar with Andrew Tate? Uh -huh. yeah, everybody yeah. familiar with anybody? Oh, yeah. I was not familiar with Ryan Garcia. Do y'all yeah. know who he was? Yeah, I, 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 I heard am. of him. But Box, yeah. Boxer. 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 Are you guys familiar with Bohemian Grove? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I heard about it. Yes. Okay. Just in case you don't know, Bohemian Grove is this um, day camp for rich people, I guess. Like, So they go down to this, and there was footage. Um, the crazy dude, Alex Jones, went in and got footage of it. And it's real footage. And um, basically, like, old presidents like Ronald Reagan and one of the Bushes and a bunch of famous rich people were there. And there's a huge owl. And, and other people have actually gone to the site, and you see the stuff still there, right? It's a huge owl. They put on robes. They, they kind of worship the owl and chant. And there's accusations of child stuff and all the kind of stuff. But there's actually – you can see them doing it. Like, it's a real thing. Um, of course, they will probably say it's just like a club, you know, it's just a hangout. We just do weird stuff. It's mm -hmm. like a sorority fraternity thing. Um, but he's saying that those people are kind of in control of what's going on with him, and they made him do stuff. They did stuff to him when he was a kid, and uh, he's exposing them. Now, he's previously had mental struggles that he's admitted to, so a lot of people are saying that this is another episode of his mental struggles. He came back again... Um, uh, with another video where he people felt like it was kind of like a hostage video situation they weren't sure <laughs> if he was okay now in between this he was he was tweeting as well and there's a lot of weird stuff his ex-wife came out and said pray for him there's something wrong with him so that's where the the mental stuff comes mm -hmm. in but this is what came out after that hey guys it's me hey guys it's me Ryan uh, I'm coming on here to explain what's going on I'm not in possession of my phone. I can't get access to my Instagram. Uh, my cards are locked. And I'm just being real, you know, I'm being real taken advantage. And uh, I personally wanted just to send out a video to the people that love me and my fans, and family that's concerned that I'm okay. I'm not dead. I believe in Jesus. All those are lies. And, you know, I've, they try to put me in jail. They're blocking my cards. I can't access my money. Nobody's hitting me back. I don't know what's going on, but um, just know I'm okay. All right, so it was quiet for a little bit after that. And then the last thing that came out is still on, on his Instagram right now. Um, but this was the last video that he posted about it. Here to announce my return back. To Instagram. Now, over these past couple of days, you guys have seen some pretty intense things. I understand what they are and I understand what they look like. But I'm coming back to announce I'm not going to speak on any other topic other than boxing, sports, and my fight. That's the only thing I'm going to be talking about. And uh, I'm training for this fight. I want everybody to know this fight's still on. 420, five weeks of super focus. I have PBD helping me in this camp and many other warriors. So I thank you guys for the support and I'll see you. All right. So is this guy Ryan Garcia, who I've never heard of before in my life, mm -hmm. is, is he telling the truth that there's this Illuminati child rapist conspiracy that's holding him down that um, keeps people in power in check by, you know, doing things to him? Is he revealing some truth? 
is he nuts or is he promoting his fight? I think I think three of the I think two of the three. I I think that there is, um, and I hate you know because we are we didn't got it to the point now where it's less like the boogeyman you know that we keep talking about the right. Illuminati. I don't really think that we should be putting too much emphasis on it. You know we should be focusing in on the kingdom. That's just you know my opinion. Yeah. But I do think he's he's a little he's a touch too. So oftentimes people that have um, those psychotic breaks can see things so you know and we know that there are you know that there's angels and demons everywhere mm -hmm. so when you take into consideration you had that break and now you're seeing demons you're seeing you're seeing all of this stuff i think that the just the one moment where he seems like he's cool and the next minute he's like is showing there's some erratic behavior when he said that he was a god number one mm. but then turns around and says that, that he believes in, in jesus, jesus yeah. then does he believe he <laughs> sent that he was the one that sent jesus you know what i'm saying like there's oh, a lot because yeah. he's saying you're a god so um and then even even asking the guy like can i help you like as if i'm god i can help you in the situation you got going on there's something there's something mentally wrong with him but at the same time it is true. I, I believe that all of the stuff that's going on with the, with the, I don't even like to use the term elites, but the yeah. people that are making a lot of money and there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes and we know the wickedness of people's hearts and I can only imagine that <laughs> coupled with money and you thinking that you're yeah. invincible, like kind of like like Diddy and you know like Kanye. you yeah you think Kyrie. yeah yeah. It, as you start thinking that way, I mean, I, I can only imagine, you know, like our mind can only go so far because we worship the Lord. But just think about how depraved we can really be and imagine that you got that with no, no nothing to lean on. I can only imagine plain one, two or three. Is he is he telling the truth? Is he crazy or is he promoting his fight? I think he's telling the truth. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times when you deal with mental illness, some people are just born with a chemical imbalance. Sometimes you have a triggered mental illness. So with a young man being exposed to the things he said he was exposed to as a young man, I can imagine that's some stuff that you'll never forget. Mm -hmm. I can imagine it could take you to such a place of trauma. With trauma, sometimes you can be stuck in a moment. That's what they do sometimes. Like you go through such something that's so traumatic, you stay in that place forever. You grow up, you become a man, you're still stuck there. So I believe he may have been exposed to some things that kind of just traumatized him. So when he's he he has a mental break, he don't care about lying or telling the truth. He just gonna tell it like it is at this mm. point. Like just because they having a mental break don't mean they lying. Yeah, yeah. So he mm. telling you what he saw and what he witnessed. Next thing you know, the next two videos, he like they got my phone, they got my stuff. I can't do anything. So pretty much now it's like okay, we're doing the steps. You got too much exposure. People don't know whether to believe you or not. Some think you crazy. Some think you don't. We'll go right here. The next video, I'm not going to talk about anything, but it sound, it seemed like somebody in the room with me. I'm not going to talk about anything else but boxing in my fight. 420, I have so-and-so and so-and-so. Let's go. Like, they pretty much told him, like, look, bro. And, 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 and Tate told him, like, hey, bro, I'm here to tell you, like, they can and they will come see about you. Next thing you know, he dumbing it down. Everything is all cool, mm. peaceful, and all this kind of stuff. I believe you're telling the truth, and it's, you see that often. Um, mm. Not to be too deep with conspiracy, but you see it often. A lot of times, um, people come out and start telling the truth. They try to make you look crazy, or they try to taint your image, or they just get you out of there. You know what I'm saying? So I believe you're telling the truth. Could mm. this be one possible explanation of all this? He's having mental issues. Mm -hmm. He's seeing things that aren't true. He may be telling truth about some things, like him being uh, molested when he was a child. He's probably seen Alex Jones' video of Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. Those thoughts went crazy in his mind. He thought he was a part of it. Could that be? And then him saying all this is putting pressure on his promoters in this fight because people are saying, call off the fight. He's not mentally well. So those same promoters are like, hey, bro, you need to clean this up. Get it together. Go make this video. I'll write it down for you. Say this because this fight is on the verge of getting canceled. Could it be those set of facts and then to him it looks like Illuminati controlling him when it it's could, just people who just want money? It definitely could be that, but I've been following, I follow boxing pretty good. I've been following Ryan Garcia for a while. I've never heard anything about him having any kind of mental issues until this stuff started coming out. 
If you go back last year, he fought Tank Davis a couple years ago. Nobody said anything about that. He was viral on social media, how fast he could punch. He was doing a little video, punching people with the body stuff on, still knocking them out. Nobody ever came out. He was the golden boy. He was with Oscar De La Hoya. He was probably the future of boxing. Nobody came out and said anything about a mental illness. Now, all of a sudden, he started talking about some of this stuff, and all of a sudden, now he crazy. Now, all of a sudden, something, something going on with his mind. I mean, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, um, I think, um, again, none of us can tell whether or not he's telling the truth that the stuff is happening. And, um, you know, even if he's not telling the truth about this particular situation, you know, Nickelodeon is getting ready to come out with a documentary like in the next week or two. And the guy from Drake, Drake and Josh, mm -hmm. he's exposing a lot of stuff of this same stuff. So it's just too much of it going on. So okay. whether he's lying, you know, is, is Nickelodeon lying over here. Yeah. So it's just like, man, just shut it all Cat down. Cat Williams. Cat Williams you said know? a lot of this oh, same yeah. stuff. Yeah. And they tried to say he was crazy. Yep. Mm -hmm. He don't seem crazy to me. This is what I think. I think that a lot of this is true in spots. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's true as in like there's a global society of people that are in control of everything. I've heard these, I've heard these conspiracies from people who are like, Sean. And this, these people with like billions of dollars. Sean, I've seen it. There are people in control of everything you believe, do. And this person not not even a Christian. They're like, everything you believe is con being controlled by this group of people, this group of people. Everything that happened with pandemic and this and this is all controlled from the top down. Blah, blah, blah. I've heard I've heard this. I, I just have a hard time believing that all of these people are directly connected like and knowingly connected to satan and are doing his bidding knowingly in such a demonic way do i believe there's pockets of people that believe that yes do i believe that the end result is the same because they're motivated by selfish interests and satan can use those selfish interests to end up making it feel like the same thing yes but i don't know if i don't I have not yet been convinced that there's this super structured <sighs> Control over everything that happens in this world. Yeah, yeah. And I, I it, even it. you know, I don't, I don't. I'm like you. I don't believe that either. But you're right. So, but what this here, even in America, it's bad to do that to boys, little boys. You know, there are there are clubs out here that are doing that. So even though they can make that, like, okay, ain't nobody controlling everything. But then that pocket there's, there's, that you're talking about, there's moments could of be true. So we need to shut him up, even so. You know, the microscope won't even be pointed at yes. the possibility. Yeah. Because, man, it's a lot of these, uh, you know, the pedophilia thing, man, is, is huge yeah. right now. And a lot of people are getting older and becoming adults, and they telling it. You know, is, is everybody lying? No. And then you look at how they go from just being, you know, normal, functioning children, and then when they get grown, like a, a, a large percentage of them are just out of it right now. Here's the only reason I, I, I try to push back a little bit on conspiracy theories because I think you I think there are people who could be right about certain things, right? Mm -hmm. The problem is is when you are looking for devils under every rock, you can become obsessed about okay. that instead mm -hmm. of your actual mission. We already know there's devils there. Yeah. We already know that mm -hmm. who's who's who our enemy is. We don't have to mm -hmm. go off on all these yeah. rabbit uh chases. Your mission is to spread the gospel. Right. And I feel like so many people are getting off these side quests. I got to prove the earth is flat. I got to prove that the I vaccine is the, the, a demon. I got to prove that. And it's like, man, just yeah. focus on what we're supposed to really be doing. Mm. I agree Let's, with that. Oh, I, I, oh. I agree with that. I think, I think, but that's the whole goal of it. If I can get you so consumed with what I'm doing and what my plan is. And now it's, it's so common to hear the words Illuminati and secret society. People just like, oh. But that's the main thing the enemy does, I feel like. Yeah. He hides in plain sight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the greatest thing, the greatest trick he has is making people believe he don't exist. Now, the word mm -hmm. says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? So we know this, right? So we were wrestling against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing we, we, we don't take in consideration is if these people are motivated by the spirit of the enemy, Right. We will often when we're looking at individuals, we'll say as human beings, yeah, how can they all be organized like that? Well, if we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but we're wrestling against the Satan, the demonic forces, yeah. they're or they, they have some yeah. yes. order in yeah. reference to how they want this world. They're to the be real ran. Illuminati. Yeah. Right. Right. So where we're yep. where we're we're confusing, like let's say for instance with, with Garcia, we know that obviously there's some mental issues situation. Mm -hmm. 
Suki Hana, on the other hand, if you've ever seen a, the video where she's saying that they're that the Illuminati is after me, mm. she seemed like she had perfect sense. Mm -hmm. But then the next time you see her, it looks like she's been programmed, mm. and now she's following a certain script. Now nobody said anything about her having any mental issues, mm -hmm. but it's the same thing that we, but we've it, been. But is saying. that the Illuminati or is it is it is it uh, Sony? <laughs> is it? Def I think Jam? they all working together because they're yeah. all a part of the devil's system Do no they meet but and knowingly working know. together right we know who's actually I pulling believe, the strings on the corner i could be crap you believe, think they're I actually believe, physically working i together. believe they are at this at least i believe there are a certain group of people who put a certain plan in place for humanity i believe we're christian we believe in jesus that trump all that but i believe for those who don't believe in christ you in trouble because there's some people yeah. up here who got a system they put in place for this world america is a business bro it is. like you think they don't know who's gonna be in the White House before they get in the White House? You mm -hmm. really think I ain't gonna get into all this stuff? Yeah. I'm gonna say like America's a <laughs> America's a business, bro, and yeah. they got folks running this stuff. And anybody who doesn't go along with the business plan, you're gonna be eliminated. Anybody who go who comes in and you're a threat to what's being said and what's being done, you're going to be yeah, eliminated. You're gonna be true. you're gonna be taken out. It's it's deep. It's it's so crazy that we think like oh no, nah, ain't no way, and that's the reason why it exists because we think it's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of weird think, too. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. I was just gonna say I think another way of them. Uh, 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 if if that is the case, them preying on the, the the suspicious is them using the 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 ones in charge of them. So yeah, they contacted someone at Sony. Get your girl. Someone at Sony handled their girl. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, what I'm saying, like, that's the, the mindset yeah, yeah, is like yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. they can work through other people. I mean, they know your weaknesses. We, I I feel like regardless, everybody uh, in some in some way or, or <laughs> some way, shape, form, or fashion utilizes what God deems is right to do evil things. When when uh, God told us that we are to make disciples, but we are also to be poured into yeah. by someone bigger, I think that 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 formula can work with, with any, any organization. Look at this you know as saying? an like, example, right? Track stars believes in Jesus, yeah. right? Flatline believes in Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. We initially, you know, I mean, been following for years. We're like, man, we need to we need to go down and link up mm -hmm. because what's the common denominator? Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I'm a sinner and I see you doing so, let's say I'm a music industry and I see the private prisons. And I'm like, man, well, wait a minute, we can maybe we can partner up, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and then get together. Now it sounds like it's a conspiracy <laughs> theory. But if I'm the you know, if I'm a label, I'm like, OK, well, we're going to continue to let them keep pumping this type of music that, so we can get more. People but that's what I mean by the actual Illuminati, the actual puppet master is the spirits behind those. Yeah, decisions. yeah, 100 mm -hmm. percent. I don't yeah. know for sure. And that could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know for sure if Lear Cohen and and. Obama and 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 Trump and so and so are secretly in a meeting with robes on, Man, those are deciding how I'm gonna make you mad at him and I'm gonna make you mad at him to keep them doing this and I'm gonna put drugs in this and I, I just that's the normally the ones that you see are not the ones. Yeah. Who no, that's what I was about to say. That, that, those are the people to keep us entertained. These people yeah. are smart. They're now, being used. Bro, the, the you, people we're yeah, talking about the be. enemy, right? We're talking about principality, rulers, darkness, spirits in high places. We people been it. these things been around for a long time, bro. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna do the, the, the stupid, <laughs> obvious thing, bro. They're gonna do. They, it, it's, it's deeper than we think. I think. The, all right, so let's go to a Christian, right? Jesus. And he was on. He was on our first segment. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go back, I think it was a year or two years ago. Ty Tribbett mm -hmm. tried to expose the enemy. Do y'all remember that video that mm -hmm. he did at the pool? Yeah. I yep. do. Yeah. You know, and he was saying how they're trying to change his music. They're trying know. to make a change in music, and they want you to do certain things. And you know, now he's blasting the, the church industry. Now he blasting. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you know, like, and he couldn't really tell us what he wanted to tell. Like you could tell he wanted yeah. to say something else. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, and 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 at the time he was like, man, there ain't gonna be no type of compromise. Even if you know, even what he, even though we might view. You know uh, what he did on the Breakfast Club as some level of compromise mm -hmm. two years ago. Unintentionally, but yeah, yeah, unintentionally. Yeah. I said that we might view it. Yeah. That don't, don't mean it. we don't know his heart. Yeah. So we're not. I'm, nobody's yeah. throwing him under the bus. Absolutely. But the way he was talking at his pool two years ago, mm -hmm. he wouldn't even need, he wouldn't even did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. So just, I think the guys in the robes and the chanting and all that stuff is just the devil's way to advertise it so that we can be all that's what I'm saying. Spook, it's, it's spooky stuff. Advertising it's, it's spooky stuff. To like, make us feel like that's so powerful that we need to 
to, to, to or that is fear. so silly yes. that we don't even need to pay attention to, to impose us. fear and make you consume with trying to go through every like you said pick up every rock trying to figure it out while you trying to do all this stuff figure it out mm -hmm. these people up here got the next play for the next six yep. months and the next year down the line mm -hmm. oh we got the new phone coming out it's gonna captivate everybody's mind while we over here planning this right here mm -hmm. like it's it's career it's, talk okay and i'm not mirror. again it's I'm now I'm not saying I believe it, but the Simpsons, bro, like they be on like I'm telling you, yeah. I don't know how much y'all look at these oh, Simpsons so episodes, it's a lot. It's a lot. and then later on, it's like much. right to the T. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just too much. Some of it they're stretching it a little bit to make it fit, but yeah. Um, so <laughs> if if you if you are if you love conspiracies, I will say this: there was like I said, I mentioned it earlier. There was a guy. That we that was trying to get us to do something which I didn't really agree with, so I kind of fade him a little bit. He was trying to create like a. a you may have been contacted by him too. Uh, he was trying to make. Oh, I can't say too much. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so anyway, regardless of what he was doing, he had long conversations with me, and this is like a guy who reportedly has billions of dollars. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So he had long conversations with me. He's like, Sean, you have no idea what this is really like. I know I used to do the bank transactions for these people. I've been in the rooms. I've seen it. There are people who are in control of every decision you th think you make. Mm -hmm. It was already decided by somebody in a in a room somewhere. There are people. There's people. He's like he he, he said, <laughs> man, I don't know, how much can I? He <laughs> said that the the Vatican is. They're like the uh, they're actually running everything. Mm -hmm. And America is basically um, they view America as like the police officers of the world. That's mm -hmm. why we get in everybody's business. Mm -hmm. stuff. And all those decisions are made by by them. He says that the everybody you see reported as um, the richest people in the world are not actually the richest people in the oh, world. Nah. There are other families who have secret bank accounts that are way higher than Man, the Bezoses it's, and the such and such. It's three families that run the world, bro. So, so, and, and these are just, I'm just giving you a couple of examples. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you love conspiracy and you want to run with it, there's a plenty of breadcrumbs to believe. I listened to him I was like, that's cool, but man, that's not going to stop what I'm doing. I, oh, yeah. yeah. I can't exactly. live thinking exactly. about that. Like, yeah. that's going to make exactly. me either fearful yeah. or it's going to make me paranoid mm -hmm. or it's going to make me, you know what I mean? Like, what, what's that going, what's the effect of that knowledge? All I know is I got to come on here and try my best to spread the gospel because I believe that's true. Mm -hmm. There are people who are actively trying to make sure people don't believe that's true. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I could do. I can't mm -hmm. fight. Right. Mysterious people no, with, yeah. with robes. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got to come in here and preach Jesus. I can't focus on conspiracy. Facts. Let right. let God. God is powerful, more powerful than any man in a exactly. in a robe. I agree hundred percent. with I'm just saying, like the the. I just I just believe that. Don't be naive. Like don't yeah. don't, don't believe it. They don't think you don't got an enemy out here. But mm -hmm. Jesus is the way. You know. What I'm saying? Here's one yeah. thing that I do believe. That's good. There are certain messages, and I saw this. He said it, and it happened. There are certain messages that people want you to believe and they will recruit famous people stars musicians and they will pay them to spread that message mm -hmm. whatever cause i'm not going to pick out one because there's some that are more popular than others but if they want you to believe something they will actively recruit and pay mm -hmm. your favorite rapper your favorite singer your favorite whatever and mm -hmm. say make sure when you get on the microphone that you spread this message to the people yeah mm -hmm. That is true. That well, true. Yeah. And obviously it's, it's true because go off script and watch what happened. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, yeah. they don't even have to worry about that because if they give them the money, yeah. they get, make sure they have some sort of something on you. Mm -hmm. So if you go off yep. script, they could pull that picture out. Mm -hmm. They could pull out that scandal out the vault. That and video and where they had an exposure and exactly. took advantage of you behind the scenes. That yeah. is 100% true. There are messages yeah. that are spread through news media, through stars, yep. musicians, that is orchestrated from something, either the government or whatever. And I've we, seen that. We know it works. We know that the, the, that that formula works because now there's this AI scandal where they're using celebrities' voices to do commercials, and people are like really going to buy the content, and they're looking back like, wait a minute, she she said she never endorsed this. This this never happened. But I bought this thinking that it was it was AI the whole time with people's voices and pictures and all this stuff. And so like it, we know that works because so, that's a real life. But that goes back to what Plain says. Even if you don't believe it, if even if you're skeptical of conspiracies the way I am, just 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 don't be don't Naive. be blindly following yeah. anything mm -hmm. other than Jesus. Like everything yeah. else, Amen. just think of it as hands off. Yeah. And just think about it. Um, and this is 
not nothing is to be fearful of because we have a, a Lord and Savior that that loves us and um and we got work that we have to do. But there's gonna be a time because if you if I type in Shantana, I in some kind of way I'm gonna be able to trace you back to Jesus. They coming for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, and and I mean. Jeremiah is joking about it in the chat. This stuff like that has happened to us already, mm. where we've had certain people you would assume they would love for us to say certain things about Jesus or love for us to put certain messages out. Christian things mm. that we've been a part of that say, hey, you guys can't say that. Wow. Jeremiah, am I lying? Mm-hmm. We have been nah, told, nah, nah, nah. Ryan's not on here, Ryan knows. We have been told by Christian organizations. You can't say that what Beyonce did was wrong. Come on, man. Mm. Christian organizations, big ones. Mm. You can't say Beyonce is wrong. And then they dropped us from their network. Mm. It's like, we can't say what Beyonce said was wrong. Mm. That's unbiblical, what she said. You can't say yeah. that. Wow. So, yeah. well, yeah. Take, take whatever you want from that. Yeah. I, I am out of time. Sorry, we have one more thing. I can't get to it. We'll do it next week. But Flatliners, thank you so much for being a part of this, yeah. man. You guys killed it Amen. y'all Thank killed you, it bro. tell them again yes, real quick what you guys are about how to find you and support you all right flatline um, movement.org you can check out everything again we're on all streaming platforms our desire is to and this is not taking anything away from any other of our mc brothers and sisters that are out there but our desire is to just take over all forms of media to be able to show people that Jesus loves them and that you got to be able to flatline in order to live. Yes. So if you and, and also flatlinechurch.org, this is our it's our church, you can check that out. If you ever in Montgomery 230, we're we're there serving the Lord. We would love to have you. Amen. Am I forgetting anything? Awesome. No, I don't thank you for getting here. <laughs> hey, thank you again, bro. And we yeah. want to say thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Thank we you. we it's been a blessing. we love what you do. Thank you. You man. know, thank um, you. you know, uh, we we there's special notes in all of these bags for each of y'all. Oh wow! I know that sometimes it could be hard trying to push something up uphill. You can have a desire to want to see something grow and blow mm-hmm. up and be big, and sometimes it's a, it could be a, a disappointment when it doesn't go exactly yeah. the way you would desire for it to go. Mm-hmm. But just know that your your that God has done a great work already. Thank you, in man. y'all and Thank y'all, you, and I, I appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thank you, man. I hate that I didn't get a chance to see Ryan. Yeah. I'll or, definitely um, relate to Jeremiah, message. but we, but definitely, man. No, we, we need it. Y'all. We need it, man. We've been doing this. 18 years mm. wow. Wow. we've been doing this for 18 years um, me Jeremiah Ryan since we were in our early 20s some wow. teens a little bit and we set out and we knew we had to do something because the culture I mean I, me and Ryan were working at Radio 1 um, De- uh, Jeremiah was a DJ we just saw a lot of culture happening to us and we wanted something that could be a different voice so that kids could say kids could hear it's not just that. There's an alternative. Yeah. There's a better way, right? And we uh, committed to that when nobody was listening, nobody paid us any attention. Now you come up here, people come up here and like, I've been listening. I've been. We don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't know that. So, but we 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 dedicate ourselves. And I look up, and it's 18 years later, or however long, and it's like, wow, right. like mm-hmm. whatever we are hoping for. We can't ignore the fact that God has already helped us change a lot of lives along the way. Mm-hmm. And I I know. I know, especially me, Ryan, and Jeremiah, um, there's a lot of other people on the team, too, that make this happen, but me, Ryan, and Jeremiah, sometimes we get very tired. You know what I'm saying? There's There's been disappointments. We all have day jobs that we do besides this as well, and there's a lot of disappointments, disappointments there. There's been life stuff that's happened to us, yeah. but you guys praying for us and supporting us, man, yeah. that means a lot to us. We need the encouragement along the way. Yeah. 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 Hey, anytime you need us, hey, everybody, pray for Flatline. I mean, pray, pray for, well, Flatline, yes, but <laughs> um, but definitely pray for Trackstar. I don't know yeah. if you just sit here and listen, because I know I've listened for years, and I can't say that every single time I got finished listening to the show that I prayed for y'all. So mm-hmm. all y'all Christians out there, man, make sure you continue to lift them up in prayer because mm-hmm. this is not an easy thing mm-hmm. d- to do. And then at the same time, to be consistent. Mm-hmm. 18, 18 years. years. 
Man, that's tough. Mm-hmm. pray that you get 18 more. Pray that when you get to heaven, that God will have one of these set up <laughs> so you can do it. But just know that what you're doing is making a mark in the kingdom and it's going to make a mark in heaven. You're going to have a lot Thank of people you, that's going to come and say that this back was a for blessing. A, a line for line. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah, yeah. Line line. Jeremiah, we got to have him back, man. Um, but yeah, we appreciate you guys playing. Thank you for being here, man. Oh, sure. Ciara, thank you so much. Um, the team, the team online doing all the chats and stuff. Crispy, everybody, man. Thank you guys. We got a lot of work to do, but we're on our way. This year has been crazy, man. Um, uh, if you see on the wall there, people were talking about that before the show started. Mm-hmm. What was it? What three weeks ago? That joint was at forty eight. Yeah, <laughs> forty eight thousand. Mm-hmm. So people, something's happening this past year oh, that's been crazy. So that's what's up. We're we're grateful, man, and and we just pray, Lord, that that He just keeps putting us in in a position but also like we're trying to do with everybody listening and everybody that comes here is make sure we're prepared so when we have those moments that we don't disappoint the body you know what i'm saying like that i mean it could happen i'm not saying that it's impossible but just know pray for us so that if those moments happen Mm -hmm. we'll be ready for them Mm -hmm. and we represent correctly all right right? amen let's get back into it you want to feel with the track stars ryan right to shantana dj jeremiah let's go Hey, what's going on? I hope you liked that video. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Trackstars Universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now.